Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Patala FC. We are we thin now. We're just gonna chat it up. We're just gonna chat it up because we're playing Newcastle. But what's been concerning for me, worrying, bothering me, is where will Chelsea end the season? We finished last season in 12th and we could finish in 12th again, hoping that we won't finish below 12th. It would be amazing to at least finish in 8th. Not because I would love to see Chelsea play in Europe, but it would be motivational for the players to qualify in the European positions just because it's a young team that are playing their first season together at majority in terms of the majority of the squad but let's let's make some progress let's make positive progress under Poch for the sake of positive progress in future and possibly trophies again yeah it's looking far-fetched now but yeah to get into it uh, we could look at the fixtures first but I think we should jump into the lineup that we could cook up against Newcastle and the main man I believe will be Mikhailo Modric uh, I will have my eyes on him he gave us a chance in the Carabao Cup by scoring the equalizer against Newcastle to lead us into extra time and then we eventually won so Mikhailo Modric at the left wing standard position I think he should drift into the camp because he played well in the camp against Leeds in the FA Cup just to test them you know his passing range is quite impeccable uh, he is oh my God. surprises me every time we're expecting him to be a good finisher good in terms of shooting but doesn't mean we should neglect other sides of his game in which he has polished himself now yes uh jackson sterling front line of course sterling on the right wing nonny madwege saw a training video earlier in, in which the focus is actually malo gusto um, that video was nice from the training content creating team at chelsea but yeah uh in midfield the change i'd love to see i'm looking down in shame because it's one of our our boys from the academy cobham grown gallagher week in week out i feel more and more that we will sell gallagher I also feel the same way about Armando Breuer. I've been optimistic in terms of having Gallagher next season uh, for the positive side of you need players that love the club and you need that energy to gel off on other young players. And of course, playing for the club over time, you develop a connection with the fans and everything as a player. But Gallagher, of course, will accelerate you. He'd be like a catalyst for that other players that, are, that just joined the team. Enzo, Caicedo. You know, Caicedo already having a certain, you know, sentimental love for the club. But yeah, it's, it's, um, I'm thinking of Delhi Ali in this instance. Delhi Ali wasn't a great player when Poch arrived, but he became a killer for at least two, three seasons or eventually in his career. It's Gallagher's first season playing under Poch, yes, but I think the finishing aspect of his game should be a bit better already. And the misses in the Carabao Cup final. The first one where he hits the post is unfortunate, but the second one where he's one on one with Kelleher is a crucial chance. And if Gallagher does is around next season, you'd expect him to be finishing those chances. If he's not, we're likely to move on. And I prefer Cole Palmer in the camp position. Two cams, or an eight that's more advancing in Enzo, and Cole Palmer as a ten. And Caicedo as the sitter. I believe Caicedo's game is being restricted in terms of Poch's system. Caicedo can drift. He can move about. I would love to see him being given more freedom in terms of where he can go and win the ball. He doesn't have to stick to his position and just drift in midfield, really. Caicedo has stamina. He can do a lot more for us. So, yeah, I believe over time, maybe the trust element will grow from Poch and he will understand the league more. And what he can really do with, with the potential of these players. We're hoping that's based on his capabilities as a manager. So yeah, uh, my standard Caicedo at CDM in the, in the lineup. And the back four, welcome back Mark Cucurella. Cucurella or Cucurella? Cuc Cucurella. <laughs> yeah, these pronunciations. He's back and before the injury, 
to be honest, he was one of our best players this season. Kukurela was was immense, and he could play both sides, right back, left back. Um, I appreciate him getting back to, into the team, and I think Chilwell might just suffer due to his return from injury. Trevor Chalobah, I would love to start giving him um, starts in my predicted lineups, but I believe the Sassi and Kowal's partnership is a lot more solid, and over the season, that would be the defensive pair that we need to go to, with Chalobah being the makeshift for now at least, until maybe he displaces someone, who knows? But yeah, we have Badia Shield for final still on the sidelines. Uh, so the d- defensive, oof, it's gonna be crazy by next season if everyone is fit. Imagine, well, for final will never be fit. Let, let's forget about that one. Yeah, Mano Gusto, key focus and uh, key player for us right now. Very, very intelligent in terms of his movement. I believe underrated for his age in terms of his movement we don't speak about it enough he knows when to go forward and when to drift backwards and when to stay in midfield a bit on in the middle of the field you could say but on the right side he's uh he's proving to be the perfect perfect replacement for Rhys James now Rhys James is a whole different subject in terms of his return to the team and his impact in the team and his availability at large but Malo Gusto brings a lot of comfort to Chelsea fans I believe and you don't worry about the right back position when Malo Gusto is fit and ready which he is and I think in this game he gets an assist maybe on a goal can Gusto just score I think it will build his confidence immensely Petrovic in goal uh, Robert Sanchez can continue taking fork knife eating bench or chopsticks eating bench but we move um still concerned about where chelsea close off the season will be around for that in- international break will be coming gonna do a trivia with the boys be sure you subscribe for that and yeah it, it's gonna be another tough spell for chelsea in a tough season for chelsea <laughs> let's get it yo